There are certain tourists that just elicit a sage nod of approval from committed caravanners. Tourists like this, the Compass Rally 530. Not because it does anything particularly special or out of the ordinary, but because it just does everything really, really well. It's got a high spec, it's got a layout that works particularly well, and it's got a really good badge, the Compass name that was revived by the Explorer Group in 2014. This van has got everything you could need. It's got a 40-litre onboard water tank. It's got the obligatory Aldi wet central heating system. It's got Alco ATC. The list goes on. There's also some lovely little details. I really like the little light on the front that illuminates the gas locker. Throw in a lightweight MTPLM of about 14, 20 kilos, and Eldis's renowned construction method, solid, and you've got a really appealing van. It's easy to see why it costs a little over 21,000 pounds. I've just got one small quibble. That toilet cassette emptying point is on the near side, so if you've got an awning up, you'll have to take it out through there. So what makes this such a good caravan for a touring couple? Well, it's all about space, practicality and flexibility. This lounge works particularly well. These are such comfortable sofas. It's also a good size and makes up a fantastically big double. And you can leave that double made up because in the middle of the van, you've got a dinette, so you can use that for all your dining needs, even if you have a guest over. It also has a whopping washroom at the back of the van, but we'll come to that later. And if you must have a fourth bunk, you can specify a fold-out version that comes out above the dinette. As for this lounge area, it's lovely and spacious and bright, helped by this large sunroof above the main front windows and a huge hecky roof light above. There's also some really thoughtful detailing, such as a spotlight in every corner, so no matter whether you've got twin singles or a double made up, everyone gets a reading light. I also particularly love the TV bracket with its discrete hidden plug points. For a relatively compact van, this really is a sensational kitchen. You've got a seriously high spec with a dual fuel hob and a separate oven and grill, even an omnivent above, which is always good to see. There's masses of food preparation space, a really good sized sink, a decent fridge and storage galore. On this side of the van, there's a microwave and praise be, it's sited at a proper level. There's even somewhere to put the hot food when you take it out on this sideboard. Not to mention more storage above and below. The 530's washroom really hits the spot too. There's a massive shower unit with an Eco Camel Orbit shower head and a bifold door. Behind me, there's a really good sized full height wardrobe and opposite, an excellent airing cupboard, just the place to store your towels. On the near side, there's a heated towel rail and of course the loop. So it makes sense to finish here in the dinette because it really is one of the top features of this van and chances are it'll be where you spend most of your time. Now the 530 finds itself up against some stiff opposition, including the excellent new Bailey Unicorn Madrid. But if you're after a flexible, high-spec tourer, then this thoughtfully designed and superbly built Compass Rally 530 really ought to be on your shortlist.